Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Nobody Special, and today I want to talk about what happened last Wednesday in Charleston, South Carolina. I don't know why I just said South Carolina, because it's definitely Charleston, West Virginia. So last Wednesday, a man was speeding through an apartment complex where children were playing, there was a party going on, and he was asked to slow down. So this man left. And at some point he returned, parked his car and he got out and he had an AR-15. For those of you that don't know what an AR-15 is, AR means Armalite and it is a semi-automatic rifle. And what semi-automatic means is that for every trigger pull, one bullet is fired as opposed to an automatic rifle which is where when you hold the trigger, bullets continuously fire until you let go of the trigger. Automatic rifles also can have something called burst, which is you pull the trigger and it's like, brrr. I'm assuming. I don't, I don't have an automatic rifle, so I don't know. Um, and I think you can switch them between automatic, semi-automatic, and burst. Um, a lot of people think AR means assault rifle, and that is incorrect. There are things called assault rifles, and those are your automatic weapons. So, just to clear that up, because I know people say assault rifle all the time, and that's just not correct. Okay, so this man gets out of his car, wielding his AR-15, and begins to pull the trigger. Now, remember, I said there was a party going on, and that is who his anger was aimed at. I don't believe anyone was hit. And a woman stepped forward with her legally owned gun. I don't know what kind of gun it was. I'm going to assume it's a handgun. And she fired several shots and she took out the perpetrator. Now, the perpetrator, his name was Dennis Butler. He was 37 from Charleston, West Virginia. He had an extensive criminal background. He had over 20 arrests. And the chief of police, Tyke Hunt of Charleston, West Virginia Police Department. Forgive me if that's not actually what the police department is called. Because I know sometimes they have different, they, they don't all follow the same format. He said that of all the knockdown dragouts he'd had in his career, the one that he had with Mr. Butler was by far the worst. Mr. Butler was charged in 2015 with grievous bodily harm after he shot a woman. He was also charged with two counts of DV as well as child neglect in Pennsylvania. So needless to say, Mr. Butler was a bad man. Mr. Butler did not cherish human life. So, a couple of things about this story give me pause. One of them is, how do you point any type of weapon, any type of gun, at a group of people that there's at least 40 of, and not hit anyone? So I don't know what that means. I just thought that was interesting. I don't know if he was pointing at people or pointing it up in the air. Not that that makes it any better. Um, I just f thought that was strange. Uh, thankfully, he didn't hit anyone. That's, that's absolutely amazing. The other thing about this story that gives me pause is that Mr. Butler has received a lot of press because of this. His name, his picture, everything. The woman who eliminated the threat has remained anonymous. Her identity has not been revealed. Now that makes me wonder why that is. Because in my eyes, she's a hero. She stepped in and she saved at least 40 lives. I mean, there was probably other people running around the apartment complex. It was a beautiful day. It was like 82 degrees. And I, I don't know when their schools get out, but it was probably around that time. That's probably why they were celebrating. So, you know, there was a lot of people. There was a lot of potential victims of Mr. Butler that day. 
And this woman who protected them all remains anonymous. Now, I'm not saying we need to find out who she is and we need to release her identity because clearly that's not what she wants. So I took some time and I put myself in her shoes and I was like, why would, why would she re want to remain anonymous? And of course, you know, if you look back over the things that have happened recently in this country, you can kind of understand why. The, the, the name that comes to mind is Kyle Rittenhouse. If you don't know who Mr. Rittenhouse is, I highly suggest you go and look him up. So my question is, if you are someone who believes that citizens of this country should not be allowed to possess firearms, how does this scenario, this story make you feel? And also, what are your opinions on the fact that this woman has decided to remain anonymous? What does that make you think about where our society is today? Please leave your answers in the comments below. I'd love to have a conversation about it. Um, let's remember to be respectful. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. Opinions don't harm anyone. And just have a great day today and try to be thankful and try to remember that nothing is as important as life.